Hi everybody, welcome very much to my YouTube channel. Today we have the third match out of a best of five between Marine Lord in the color red as the HRE and they're moving up for the early board with the prelate. Oh, that's gonna be a lot of food, bro, and very fast because of the prelate and the vills. And the prelate can heal the vills if they get low. Nice. Oh, healing the scout. Man, Marine Lord is smart. And the Marine Lord, Marine Lord's adversary is Numodon in the color green as the Chinese. And the map is the loved, the hated. It's mountain clearing. Let's go. One map that I should, in my opinion, it should not be in tournaments. It should not be in the rank ladder, but it is what it is. It's not like the worst map ever but it's pretty close <laughs> guys if you enjoy the content leave a like and subscribe catch EGC TV live on twitch they are the hosts and organizer of this tournament and also hold on catch me live on twitch using the links down below i'm live right now come and say hi i might be live as you are watching this video and we have this is the third match so it was already two matches already happened so if you want to know what happened, go and check the videos here on the channel. And we have uh, Chinese... Hi, Coffee, welcome to the stream. Chinese versus HRE. Normally, it's this matchup is very, very favorite for the HRE. But I, I usually say that maps like Mountain Clearing, they change up the matchups. Alright? You can just be like, oh, HRE is the win or HRE has a, an easier time over here. No. This map changes things differently because a single outpost, a single keep in here can change completely the course of the game or like uh, you have like a lot of space to harass your uh, the enemy villagers. So there is a lot of plays you can do on these maps. Let's see what our players choose to do, choose to engage with. Marine Lord with a great opening in my opinion, bore on the middle with the prelate. It's going to be so much food, bro. Can we see how much food per minute that is? 420 food per minute versus 230 food per minute. Yeah, it's it's like double. It's like double per minute. Akan Chapel can be in at 230. That's a fast feudal. <laughs> no, it's actually pretty It's pretty good time. No more than, like, I know you are a better player than me. But attacking the spread with your scout does not get you far. Right? Akan Chapel being built by four villagers. Now, I oh know, I thought it was eight, but no, they're just going for the Lambach camp. And one thing that HRE really likes about this map is that you have at least two relics always in your base. And then one in the middle. Oh! <gasps> ah, so that, that is actually super smart from Numodan. The Barbie can drop on the board, on the middle, but wait. The HRE villagers are attacking. And they can be healed by the prelate. More villagers are pulled by Numadan. Perhaps that's too much. Oh, and Numadan loses his scout. Okay, no villagers went down, but Numadan had a lot of idle time on his villagers. Nice little action at 4 minutes. Good age up. And now he takes the boar. He's like, you know what, Marine Lord? That's my boar, actually. I, I landed, landed it to you a little bit. But it's actually my boar. Just, just for you to know, you know what I'm saying? And uh, Marine Lord has to change the plan. Still, the prelate will give him a lot of good boosts on the sheep, on the deer, on the wood. You can drop the um, freaking mining camp over there and your stone also gets boosted. Because I don't know if you're on this... Oh, Imperial Official goes on to supervise the boar, making it more resources. And I don't know if the Chinese goes for a second DC here. He could go for the double... He went for the double mining camp. Because on this map, the action goes like um, super early, super fast. So going for a second DC can actually delay you for quite a while. Wait, what are you... What are you... 
What is shoot? Oh, you're shooting at the meal. Yeah, I was like, what is shooting at what? You're shooting at the meal. It makes sense, Barbican. It makes sense. Oh, also the deer. That's true. There's also a bunch of deer near your base on this map. Oh, it does not reach the Akan Chapel. I mean, I know it takes a lot of time, but I think it's worth it to pull the deer here, right? With your scouty scout. Scout. Scouting. Running around. Yeah. When you play this map, you always need to check because sometimes there is some shortcuts. I think there is a shortcut here. Let's see. Like, wait, wait. Okay, I think you can go through here, all the way there. And I think you can pass there, and then attack through here. Or even through there. Yeah, you can do it. You can actually do it. You can... Are you, no, not through here, not through here, but through there. And you can catch your enemy by surprise there, that's true. Then, Marine Lord also has his base... Oh, no, I no, that tree is blocking. So not through there, but through here for sure. Yeah, you go here, there, here, and hello, I'm in your gold. You know what I'm saying? Alright. What's the next plan, my dudes? The boar ran out. So, oh, we're not already going castle. 6 minutes 50 click up. So it's a little around 7 minutes fast castle. Numavan is close too. So nobody making units. They, they want to go castle because this map. It's a lot about the relics and about the keeps. In there, right? But I don't know if Middle North can drop a keep. I mean, if nobody is there, you can. Because the barrier can by itself will not kill a lot. Right. You need villagers inside to actually do damage. Rennie's Cathedral coming up. Numadan really close to the age up too. A man at arms comes out. The Barbican keeps shooting the mill. Astronomical clock tower coming in. There we go. Oh, you cancel the you cancel the outpost? Why? Why you cancel the outpost? I don't know. But he did. So, it is what it is. It's just the way it is. Oh, this, this, bro, this cat is playing with fire. It's taking a lot of damage. I think you can grab the third relic, right? Yeah, you can totally grab it. Coming from that angle. I even think the Bardican will keep shooting the mill. We're not just researching things on that mill, but let's see. Let's it attack. You, you can use. You have a lot of units here to soak the fire. No, no, he's attacking the prelate. Oh, it's okay. You got it. See, you got it. Astronomical clock tower is online, and now what? Right now, what? What's the plan for Numadan? You have the middle controlled by the Barbican. More barracks coming in for Marine Lord. Three relics. That's already huge for the HRE. Monastery? What? Why build it here? That makes no sense. Because then you're going to store the relics there and it's so easy to be destroyed. So you capture it for... No, no, no more than my... I know you are a better player than me, but that makes no sense. My bad. A single man at arms walks around the field for Marine Lord. Come on, dudes. Do so just do something. <laughs> okay, Prelate is in there. Scholar, Monk. Monk. Crossbow attacking the mill. Why not? No way! Ten minutes fast, Imperial! Nerf this. Nerf this right now. I'm tired 
of casting HRD games where they just go, they always go fast Imperial. It's so annoying, bro. I'm tired. I'm so tired. Nerf this. Delete this from the game, bro. Give HRD something else. No, delete this from the game. I hate that landmark. I hate this. I hate this. Because look, Nomadan is so far away from Imperial. He has a Spring Gold. He has a couple crossbow for crossbows. But also Nomadan with ba very bad um, uh, scouting. Like, why the? Why you build a Spring Gold? There is nothing that the Spring Golds will counter, right? Right? 10 minutes to go. 9, I mean. 9 minutes to go for the edge up, for the win, I mean. Archery range, so hand cannoneers coming in for Marine Lord. Numodan has no food. No upgrade. Surprising a lot of stone. 3 spring golds. But the Chari can just build coverings now. Right? But I mean, I didn't expect a 10 minute fast Imperial 2. Right? But it's not as like 4 farms. You know, this, this is not an Imperial Age, this is an half ass Imperial Age. Villager is moving up. What's the goal here, brother? To build more keeps? Yeah, forward keep over there. Maybe it's too forward. But it's only one man at arms at the moment. So, yeah. I think that's pretty chill. China builds fast. That keep is going up. Okay. Siege workshop coming in. So, time for the traps. Maybe Bombard. Are those clock tower? Yeah, they do. So they have more HP. 190. They have more than the crossbow. Double the crossbows. More than double. Okay. Keep is there. The mill is finally going down. It took 12 minutes to burn down that mill. Trap comes in. You want more stone? You want more keeps? 7 minutes to go. But the Lord needs to do something. He's, he has... Two hand cannon ears and one man at arm. There is not a lot of military for Numodan 2. He has a lot of gold. He has to sell that. There is not a lot of units for Marine Lord or Numodan. And I think you guys are now realizing why I don't like this map. Look at this fucking boring game, bro. First Lombard out on the field. What? Oh yeah, you're destroying that. But it's so fast, look at that. Lombard starts working. Springles come forward. And there you go, two Culverins coming out. Wait. You're not shooting it? No, he runs away, okay. There you go, Culverin! Best anti-siege weapon in the game. Okay, I think now you can shield with your bombard over there. Because the Culverins, they one shot the Springholds. Yeah. No, actually they don't! Because they're Clock Tower Springholds, you don't one shot them. You need two Culverins to one shot. Because you do 185 and they have 190. One spring goes down. And now we have a trap just so the springles can't reach, right? Great wall gatehouse on your base. Wait, what? Oh, right. Oh, I like that. I like Numodan's plan, I'm getting excited. That's a good defense. Four minutes. Oh no. Oh, they keep. Oh, 
That, that was fast. I, I thought that keep would take a bit longer. Numadan with no food, bro. He spent the whole game like that. Two thousand and a half gold. Oh, that's a lot of... Uh, that's a, a three siege workshops. That's a lot of traps. Plus bombard. Only one trap for Lumovan. Barbican goes down. Yeah. Three minutes and fifty to go. Can the Great Wall Great House hang on? I don't know, man. That's a lot of traps. If if Marine Lord keeps uh, producing traps, there will be a time they will one shot. Look at that damage. That's a lot of spring bolts. They're already being destroyed, bro. I think Numadan had the wrong approach here. And it is going down. Yep. And there is nothing Numadan can do now. Right? He has no units. He has no units, no food. Two minutes to which, then GG GG guys that's it well played GG well played Sacred Victory stops Because number one, he, he had three key or three thing. Yeah, GG. He had three things defending and didn't meant anything, guys. If you enjoy, leave a like and subscribe. Catch me live on Twitch, and I see you on the next one. Aesthetic Cloud Surfer surfing out.